Bros. Bros. What's up, rip my thing off? What's up, say no? I got some pineapple orange here. Delta 8, man. Dudes, okay, so, no lie, no lie, man, so, I got off the stream, right, the last stream, right, we cooked the pizza for the boyos, right, got them their pizza, I had another sandwich. I got heartburn because I had some freaking pepper jack. <laughs> What's up, Morgan? And then I fell asleep. I woke up about an hour ago. And I'm like, damn. It's 12 a.m. I still have to do another stream for my people. But I didn't want to deal with all the asshole trolls during the day because they're just assholes and bored with nothing to do with their life. So I was like, bros, I'm gonna go and chill out and sleep and have like a good sleep and sleep, you know, my Delta 8. 750 milligram shit again? That was nuts, man. So, I'm gonna go and consume 100 milligrams of Delta 8 with 100 milligrams of CBD. This beautiful stuff. It's blueberry gummies. They're, they're, they got like, you see, it's hemp. And it's got like blue, it, these things are good, man. These things are good. So that's what we're doing tonight. And we're gonna be chilling out some. Tomorrow is a busy day. I got some errands I need to fucking run. And I need to chill out, man. I need to chill out because I did sleep. I'm kind of awake and my brain won't shut the fuck up. So I was like, well, since I'm the rambling motherfucking queen here up in the YouTube, you know, I'm a professional rambler and all. <coughs> I might as well go on YouTube, make some coin, have a good time, you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking, man. Because it's all about making the Benjamins nowadays when you're, like, trying to fucking survive. So you can get some more edibles. And some more Delta E8 oil just so you can feel better that life sucks that's how it is in the game man that's why people like to get high cause it makes life better because life sucks all that endorphin rushing and you know that you get man 
It's all about the chase. It's all about the chase, man. Now my trolls. This, this is a funny scene, man. You're dreading work tomorrow. It's supposed to be my day off, but stupid vids won't quit. So many rude patients. I'm so over all of this. I should have said no, but the guilt. Ah. Rude ass people are assholes, ma'am. I'll tell you what. I am done with customer service. They would have to put me in management because I would just be like, just, I could imagine myself dealing with people nowadays. Uh -uh. I quit. That's right, say no. You do what you have to in this world. That's right, man. I gotta work my mother trucking booty off all the time. We know about serving up it here in the forest in an hour to the grocery store. And we have no car after the flood took everything. Thank God for public transit and family. Ah, mountain neighbor. Thank God for that. I hear you on that shit. Laugh out loud. Can you imagine work? Yeah. Pretty easily. Work is something you go and do. Even though you don't want to. But you do it anyway. Because you're like, you know what? I really do want that hamburger on Friday. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. I guess I'm gonna have to fucking work. So yeah. I can I can imagine it very well. I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm making the Benjamins any way I can, man. Any way I can. Alright. They're coming in with no mask masks and coughing in your face. You know, I don't like the mask mandate. I don't like having to wear a mask. But people, you're going into a hospital full of sick people and you could be endangering yourself to a really bad infection. So if there is a mask mandate in the hospital, there's probably a good reason why they're all wearing masks. It's for your protection. Please wear a mask where there's a mask mandate and stop being assholes. Thank you. I couldn't stand that shit. I would want to break people's, like, face in after that. Mm. 
no meat on Fridays. Nah, man. No meat Fridays. Awful. Zup, Johnny Appleseed. How you doing, bro? How you doing, bro? Where the fuck did I put my coke? Oh, there it is. I have my Coke Zero here. Coke Zero. Except D. You can have D on Fridays. Dude. I've been getting the D. It don't matter what day it is. I just get it. Enjoy your ride home, Johnny Appleseed. Rev got you gummies? Nah. G-Man got me gummies. <laughs> He's like, I need to make you happy. And I'm like, okay. And then he scolded me because I called him a name again. And he said, why? Listen, why would you call me that again? And I was like, I had nothing to say. I didn't say shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> Does the G and G man stand for gummy, gummy man? Yeah. Yep. That's it. Does Rev's D count? Oh, yeah. That man moves better than any other fucking man in my entire life, man. Mm -hmm. He may be an asshole at times, but he's really good in bed. I understand where Chantel comes from. Because it's rare to get really good dick. Just saying. Never leave someone who is good at dicking. I'm just saying. Sometimes you have to ignore the mouth. Because the dicking's so good. True story. Yes. Both holes were plugged. I felt a little extra, you know, frisky lately. If I even had a tiny bit of those gummies, I would be wasted. Bro! But let me tell you, I am a professional, man. I'm a professional. I've been doing shit like this for 20 fucking years now, man. 20 years. 
Using the social media. Blueberry Atticus. Mm. Man. This is good shit. This is good shit. Blueberry is supreme, bro. I love blueberries. Man. All I want is the CBD. I'm just gonna be honest. Who, Johnny? should ration them out dude dude I got a whole jar of this shit man I'm, I'm pretty good man you see like full fucking jar of more Delta 8 gummies man I'm good these are freaking high man it's 65 milligrams each so you just like pop like a couple of shit You know, times like this, times like this makes me want to have another gummy. Look at this little worm, this beautiful worm. G-Man's a good man. He always hooks us up, man. Because he knows how to get the deals. Yup. Yup. I don't know how he does <coughs> I just sneezed. Yeah, 
yeah, the eczema is getting better. You know, I'm putting like this lotion on it. It's doing better. Thank God it's doing better, man. He like goes to the distributor itself, man. Go away and stop being mean to people. Nobody cares what you have to say. Nobody cares about your hate and your indignation. I ain't doing anything to anyone. Leave me alone. Fuck. Bless you, Atticus. Atticus Murphy Jr. What a name. What a name. It's like Greek and Irish together. Yeah, Shady, you're helping me make it home. Laugh out loud, traveling alone and tired as fuck. Dude, I'll be here for you, bro. I'll be here for you. Atticus Finch. Whoa. Who's Atticus Finch? Hey. I gotta, like, make this higher stronger of Leyden my Olite man Gavin came by and cuddled me for a few hours and it was delightful he kept putting his face up against my face and rubbing me he's so cute Oh, gingerbread. I'm so sorry, honey. What you been drinking, though? Where's my partner in crime? He's lying down, man. He's lying down. <laughs> You're drinking the vodka. Girl, don't be like Foodie Beauty and throw up. I know how it is to throw up on camera. It's something you have to endure at least once as a YouTuber. And then you have a bunch of dumb people on the internet make up rumors that your son was cleaning up your vomit even though you were. And all he did was take out the garbage. But that, that, you know. That's neither here or there. You guys really traumatized me. For trolling sake. That's fucked up. I'm an alcoholic. I don't throw up. <laughs> Until you get off it, and then you throw up all the time for a while. <laughs> okay, but fine. that's something you haven't gone through yet. What? Oh, man. I become a different person when I drink. I just don't do it. Screw it. I'm done throwing up. Like, I don't like throwing up. Like, if it makes me throw up, I ain't doing that shit.
I want to get help in rehab, but I'm afraid of impatience because of the vid. Why are you laughing at me? I'm not. I'm laughing at my own situation of having to deal with alcoholics my whole life. It's okay. Don't take it to a, like, don't take it personal. You're gonna be okay, man. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> I have just gone through way too much shit in my life. Praise God for that, gingerbread. You don't want to drink that straight. Oh my God. Oh, that burning feeling. Oh. Oh. You know what, gingerbread? You should switch to hemp. It will help you. I recommend making the switch to any alcoholic. I'm so sorry, gingerbread. Got a G plan, Delta A in a G can, cook bacon in a G pan. If we can't, G man can. That's right. That's right. The Baphomet's broccoli. <laughs> now we are talking. <laughs> Nah, man. Nah, man. That's God's plant, dude. God said he made every seed bearing plant, dude. That's awesome, gingerbread. Just get off it little by little. You don't want to do that cold turkey shit. That can be fucking scary as fuck. <laughs> what? Where's Jason? Is he okay? No. It's not okay. He decided to get eaten by a jackal. You should panic. <laughs> Dude, it's 2 a.m. What do most people do at 2 a.m.? Okay. What do normal people do at 2 a.m.? We're not normal people. What do normal people do at 2 a.m. usually? Jason's not a normal person though, really, too. What do kids do? Well, kids aren't normal. They're weird. <sighs> what is normal? That, that's the real question. 
Between today and yesterday, drive across two states over a thousand miles. Laugh out loud. Finally on home stretch. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. You going outside tomorrow? Are you going outside tomorrow? Hard drugs? Hard drugs? Me? No. No. You have a double shift later. Oh my god. What do you do, gingerbread? What do you do for a living? You hear me talking at the top of your loud. Oh my god. If I'm so loud, just go. No one's asking you to stay, Zoe and Zuki. Someone's always on my asshole. Get off my ass! I don't sleep. I'm a robot. Beep, beep, bop, boop, beep, bop, boop, boop. You're on a double tomorrow, too. Man. I hate double shifts. Working doubles, it, it's it's like your day never ends. I've done doubles several times. The only problem with doubles is once you start doing doubles for your company, they're always expecting you to do a double. And it's like, girl, do you know my motherfucking pain level right now? Bet you don't. I work for a defense contractor. Jesus bless you, gingerbread. Jesus bless you. Thanks, Restream. I'm on salary. Ah, oh. Yeah, that would do with that salary. Yes, but it's triple over time pay for me, so I don't say no. Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a good point, pants off. I wouldn't say no either. Triple over time, you don't say, really. Well, I'll work my ass off then. Golden handcuffs. Whoa. Yeah, right? Triple overtime, that, that's... <laughs> I don't think I ever received triple before. Double, not triple. Double overtime. 
and they gypped me. Bastards. Because of COVID, many staff never show up. Oh, really? Oh my god, it's getting really bad out there, isn't it? You think your phone is drunk? How does a phone get drunk? I need to know your secrets. Like, no. No lie. I am, like, really, like, very much wanting to, like, listen to old coast to coast and, like, get kind of, like, spooked out, you know? Like, listen about aliens and ghosts and spontaneous combustion. That's when I first learned about Coast to Coast. My dad, he used to work late and he came home one day and told us about Coast to Coast AM and they were talking about spontaneous combustion. So I started watching it and listening, listening it with him, cause I like trippy ass shit like that. Do I have any paranormal experiences? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Well, first of all, this house is haunted. Things disappear and then reappear all the time. It's the weirdest thing. That's awesome. Pato. I'll call you Pato. But, where was I? Yeah. One of the most familiar um ones that I had was I was at my ex-husband's house okay that place was haunted it was it was it was like built right next to an old child graveyard from like the 1600s like I used to walk to this graveyard this like and it was it was like babies in it like a baby like child graveyard like the youngest was like just like a couple days old that's in this graveyard and I think like it was like 16 like 56 or something like that like an old old graveyard like you can't even see most of the right in on these graves that's how old these graves are some of the graves are just completely gone but it's this most amazing beautiful thing in north carolina so anyway i was sleeping and i woke up and there's this like demonic being looking in my face and it screamed and I hid like this place was like really haunted like you go out at night and you could hear this like almost like an Indian or a uh, native flu in the background and the, there was always fireflies right so it was just like this this weird burial ground that we had and lived next ne next to like bizarre okay things happened in that place I 
It gave birth to the boys when I was living there. Six more exit. Yes, and then you can put your feet up and smoke shit. Me too, we have a ghost here. She is a pretty friendly one. Ghosts very rarely hang in graveyards. Yeah, huh. they like their houses. They like their houses. But sometimes this house gets like super cold, like really icy cold out of the middle of nowhere. And you start getting scared and you start feeling like something's fucking watching you. I hate this place. I miss fireflies. I don't see them anymore. I, I, like, this summer I saw fireflies here in PA. Not a lot, but they still came out. That was just so beautiful. I love fireflies. You know. Could it be a draft? Yeah, we got drafts in this old dusty place. Sorry about that. Two more. We have covered our windows with plastic sheeting. That's what I'm trying to tell you why it's haunted. I think the downstairs is the most haunting. Like, I hate the downstairs. But you see it in the background all the time, like, the, like, the orbs. You see it in my background all the time. No, I didn't identify the ghost yet. I know it's round. It's weird. Ghost equal demons. Possibly. Do other people you live with see the ghost? No, we experience these things by things disappearing and then reappearing. It's weird. Yes, Johnny! You're a Christian, right? Yes. How can I, like, explain what we're experiencing? Without using, like, typical common current terminology. I 
No, don't get a spirit box. <laughs> I live in what I call organized chaos. Things disappear and reappear that's normally a poltergeist. Yeah, man. Or it's a messy house. No, my house isn't messy. Where I nest. Is it, everything's organized, but it's chaotically put together. Like, like for instance, I have everything on my shelf, but it's all over the place. I have my makeup and my wigs in my makeup box, but everything is disorganized. Chaotic, but organized at the same time. Everything has its place, but in a very disorganized way. Hence, organized chaos. Yes, Johnny Appleseed, you're almost home. <laughs> you could have a sneaky intruder who resides in the walls, a mouse, maybe, but there's I have two cats, so it wouldn't get very far. It would not get very far. Watermelon, she's a warrior kitty. She will fuck that mouse up. Squirrels in the walls. Could be a squirrel. But still, it wouldn't get very far. Watermelon's a warrior kitty. She will fuck that squirrel up. Oh my god, could you imagine watermelon chasing a squirrel in my house? I'm screaming my freaking balls off. Jason probably is too. The boys are hiding in the closet. It'd be totally epic. It'd be like, like, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. wouldn't let anything get past them. That, I'm telling you, man. Watermelon's just looking for an opportunity to fuck something up. Yeah! They catch flies. They catch moths. Any, any little pest that gets into the house, the cats will fuck fuck them up. They'll eat them. I love my cats. Watermelon, she sees a fly, she's hunting it and eating it like popcorn. Like seriously, one little fly, she'll catch it real fast. 
My cats are awesome for pest control. Oh, watermelon or, uh, or Gavin is not in the room right now. They're probably laying with my sons and cuddling them. Squirrels and chipmunks come in through the fireplace? Nah, man, we don't have a fireplace. <laughs> My Siamese is the best hunter. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, Johnny. Johnny's about to sit down and smoke some reefer up, bros. Put his feet up. Get something to eat. Yeah. That's some good shit. Also, my ghost turns on our washing machine in the middle of the night. Oh, I hate when they do that. Well, what happens is like random, like randomly, like our phones come on or a TV comes on. Some random freaking video is like, what? The coons would come in through the roof and sleep in our attic and scratch above my head. Drove me nuts. Bro. Yeah, enjoy your wife and babies, Johnny. <coughs> Make sure my washer and dryer is unplugged. Don't worry, they are. Later, gingerbread. He'll be okay, man. So gingerbread, but okay. <laughs> that would freak me out, but I'd love it at the same time. <laughs> Johnny. He's a badass, dude. Could you imagine refing a whole freaking show? What? He's doing that for his fam, bros. Working his ass off for his fam. Major respect points. But man, no one to talk to. Dude, then my gallbladder must be like, ugh. I just think. I just think we're getting older and there's just certain foods we can eat and there's certain foods we can't eat anymore. Night, gingerbread. Night, Johnny. Yeah, he 
gonna smoke up. Ghost cat. ever fart and spook yourself I don't think I've ever experienced that rocket sorry I wish I could have experienced that that would be an interesting experience where I fart and like what the fuck when I fart, I feel relieved. It's like, oh. That gas bubble is finally out of my asshole. Thank God. Ah. Oh. enjoy my farts and my sneezes and my burps I enjoy that shit <laughs> I farted myself awake I farted and laughed before <laughs> Like I fart, like I was farting while, like it was like the laugh and the farting were like synchronous, wasn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Jason's like, I want to cuddles. I love your cuddles. You like my cuddles? I love your cuddles. My cuddles feel good, you man. The best cuddles, yes. Oh. Yes. You just gotta hold on to that boot. It's the best booty. My booty tootie. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a good morning dump too. Don't leave that out. Morgan. That is correct. That like first pee and shit of the day. Oh, that's awesome. Pants off. Sub Freddy, will I be streaming again in the morning? Probably. Probably. I think I'm. I. I. I think I'm just gonna go on like sections of the day of when I stream. Gotta figure out how to do it. Atticus, will you cuddle me? Atticus. Atticus. I'm a married woman. Oh, I don't know about you, but I, I think cuddling is inappropriate with another man. She loves all your clothes. That's so cool. I, lo I love this sweater. She's going to love it. This is like my favorite freaking sweater. It's so comfortable. It's like... 
tomorrow, though, I'm definitely wearing my hoodie. Does your man share? Baby, a guy is asking if I if he wants to like share. Yeah. No, I'm all his. I'm sorry, Atticus. I know. I'll keep it above the waist and clothes on. <laughs> What's up, Belle? How you doing? Yeah, I waited for the sale. That's awesome. I wonder how the... I would love this with the hood. That would be like, yes. That would be nice hood. Cause this like, this material is like really warm and cozy. Your wife's gonna love it. Call me later when he goes to sleep. All right, bro. What's up, Irish Trish? <laughs> Morning, Ugh. Hate Mondays. <laughs> Sounds like you have a case of the moon days. Gotta get up early and go to work. Is it machine washable? Yeah, dude. It works great. It's great in the machine. take off I'll see you around seven eight ish I'm gonna chill out the CBD has kicked in you just saw an orb you probably did man